Do you feel tired and anxious most of the day? Does your busy day begin with restlessness and end with tiredness? With a busy life and busy schedule, food priority becomes low. This leads to many health problems. The major cause of fatigue, anxiousness, and irritability is a poor diet. With a hectic schedule, you may find it difficult to actually sit down to have a proper meal. Due to the lack of time, you may rush through your meals and probably choose processed food. Unfortunately, this poor diet may lead to poor eating habits. In poor eating habits, it may increase your level of stress and weaken your immunity. Most of the busy working professionals that I've trained or the ones that I've known tend to neglect the diet. Many times, you know, they would start the day without breakfast and probably rush through lunch to have a really unhealthy choice of meal and they would end the day feeling very tired, low energy. And if you don't include some carbohydrates, protein, fat, you know, leafy vegetables, fruits into your diet, there is no way your body can give you the type of energy that you want. With progressing age, you start to lose enthusiasm towards your work, you know, you lose your productivity as well. Your productivity level starts to drop. If any of this relates to your busy life, then it's high time to take action. If you want to make a change and boost your productivity, then here is the first thing you need to consider because developing healthy eating habits can be a game changer for you. So follow me and I'll take you through my 12 healthy eating habits for busy professionals like yourself. So here are 12 healthy eating habits for busy professionals like yourself. So tip number one, breakfast rules. I mean, if you look at your current situation, your, your job, you know, it can be easy to the point that it may cause you to skip breakfast. Breakfast is an essential meal that helps you going throughout the day. I mean, skipping breakfast can lead to, um, you know, a few potential health risks or disease like um, diabetes, obesity, you know, um, hormonal imbalance. I mean, I know it's easy to skip breakfast, but bear in mind, when you skip breakfast, your overall health will suffer along with it. Your body requires the nutrition at the start of the morning for it to function properly. So tip number two, having meals at the same time. An inconsistent eating habit or eating pattern can disrupt your body's metabolism and can also lead to weight gain, high blood pressure, and possibly diabetes. When it comes to a busy work schedule, we set daily routines. With a planned schedule, with you, things are better under control and we feel ready for any unexpected challenges. Your eating pattern should follow the same rule, right? Having meals at the same time every day and having a set routine can help you in several ways. If you prepare to have meals at the same time and allow you to have healthier choices you know, or to make healthier meal choices. You plan your meals well before so that you don't need to rush through your meals or make unhealthy choices. Your body's metabolic processes like um, appetite, um, digestion, and processing the um, processing of the the nutrition it follows a pattern. You know, by eating at random times, you disrupt this pattern. This leads to weight gain or other health risks. Eating at the same time every day will help you to maintain weight and overall health. Tip number three. Portion control your snacks. Okay, hunger is um, hunger is a way your body responds to not eating for two to three hours. This hunger episodes become tempting, you know, leading to unhealthy food choices and overeating. Snacking should only help you to get over this hunger and continue working until your next meal. So you want to avoid junk food or snacks that will add more sugar. To your system. Your snacks should contain some pre-portioned nuts, seeds, fruits, or some low-fat yogurt. You know, portion control is needed when it comes to snacks to avoid overeating. All right? These snacks will help to regulate your blood sugar levels and keep you energized throughout the day. You know, having a snack break is a great way to balance out your hunger and it lets your brain relax for a few minutes. So have some healthy snacks when you're busy with work, but do not do not replace your meals with snacks. Tip number four, unplug while eating. What do I mean by that? When you're multitasking or not paying attention to the food while eating can be disastrous for your health. You end up eating more if you are distracted with technology at the dinner table. So put down your phone or your tablet and turn off the TV. You know, and pay attention to what you're eating. Mindful eating is the best practice which can improve your health. 
move up from work during your lunch time, you know, the pleasurable eating experience will make you feel refreshed and you can come back to work with more enthusiasm. A mindful approach also helps to improve your psychological relationship with food. It aids in better digestion, reduces overweight, and also helps to reduce stress. When you become aware of eating, you tend to chew food properly that helps in better digestion and absorption of uh, nutrients. Being aware of eating makes you differentiate between actual hunger and craving. It makes you eat when needed, which helps in weight loss. Tip number five, this one is an important one. Stay hydrated, all right? It is easy to forget drinking water when you have a busy schedule. Many people drink coffee throughout the day to keep up with uh, the energy that they want, you know? But coffee adds on to this state of dehydration, which can be detrimental to your health, as well as your energy level, because we all know, like, caffeine gets you up. Once it gets to its peak, there's gonna be a crash. So it can be counter-reflective, all right? Dehydration can reduce your cognitive functions and your brain may not function properly. Drinking enough water every single day makes your body free from any toxins. It is advised to drink at least you know, um, eight glasses of water in a day to maintain optimal energy. Keep your hunger down and it is also able to maintain better digestion. Drinking water regularly helps to keep disease and infections away. Not just apple, water too. Always carry a water bottle with you to your workplace and don't forget to drink on a regular interval. Like what you can do is to set a timer. I know it takes up a lot of effort to set a timer, but hey, if it's for your health, do it, right? Number six, plan and organize your day, all right? What do I mean by that? You want to plan your day and fix a time for your lunch. You know, if you don't plan things well, most of the time you will end up grabbing something fuss. Um, I'll say like something that's processed, highly processed for lunch. You know, you should get rid of having sugary snacks while eating. You know, such food have poor nutritional value and they tend to make you feeling rather sluggish. All right, even with your busy life, always plan and dedicate time for your lunch or dinner. You know, when you are mindful of when to eat, it helps you to be conscious of what you are eating. Replace your cravings for snacks with uh, fruits or salads, but do be mindful of the dressing that you use as well. Um, carry some fruits you know, with you to work that it can save some calories. You know, some conscious effort to eating healthy will bring great benefit to your health. Tip number seven, shop your groceries wisely. So when you aim to eat healthily, your shopping list should include nutrient-dense food that will help you to accomplish your goals, right? Avoid buying um, packed food filled with um, preservative or any sugary snacks. You know, you should buy more nuts, seeds, fresh fruits, um, veggies, eggs, quality meat, you know. Um, when buying your groceries, remember, you need healthy food for fueling up your body and mind. And try to choose quality over quantity, okay? To shop wisely, what you can do is a paper and try to pen down the list in advance instead of wandering aimlessly in the shop. You're buying things unintentionally. So be ready with your list of healthy foods. I mean, you're all busy individuals as well. You don't want to waste too much time in the shopping mall or the, um, the supermarket as well, right? Go in, grab your stuff and leave, right? So while buying, make sure you read the levels of um, the item that you're buying. Read for nutritional value, all right? For example, reading labels can help you to avoid excess sugar. Number eight, I know you're gonna hate me saying this, but reduce your caffeine intake okay i know i'm gonna get flack a lot for this but then i know there are a lot of coffee lovers out there but caffeine is an excellent supplement that when taken in moderation enhances your alertness and productivity overdosing with the coffee can adversely affect your health making you constantly running low on energy it acts as a stimulant that raises up your heart rate your blood pressure and impact your overall health Instead, um, use pumpkin seeds or sunflower seeds or some nuts as a snack for quick energy when your mood drops. Well, here's, here's a little tip for you guys. I, I'm a coffee lover myself. I love my coffee, all right? But over the, the years, I am slowly reducing the amount that I have in a day, all right? Um, so here's my tip. 
To consume caffeine in small and healthy amounts, go for a cup of green tea or black tea so that it doesn't harm your health. Number nine, limit alcohol intake. <laughs> I mean, we all know, you know, we all want to have fun, we all want to drink every now and then, but hey, it may look tempting to indulge in drinking after work, but it is the worst way of just adding calories to your diet. Occasionally drinking alcohol may not be harmful, but moderation is needed, especially if your diet lacks nutrition. With all the busy schedule of yours, you need to be more energetic, right? And alcohol certain, certainly doesn't help with that. Try to cut down your alcohol, and when you go out, avoid sugary drinks. A few small changes can reduce your empty calories. Keeping yourself hydrated when you drink alcohol is essential to avoid severe hangover. Number 10, blend it for nutrition. I mean, if you're finding it hard to plan and maintain a nutritious diet, you can blend your fruits um, and veggies. I mean, it's one helpful way of getting a nutritious and balanced meal into your diet. Or you can bring along a protein shake with you, right? A whey protein shake. It's powder form, you can bring it to your work as well. Just head to your pantry, add in some cold water or milk, you're good to go, you know? Um, Along with that, you know, if you're making a fruit juice or a veggie shake, you know, you could include chia seeds, you know, flax seeds, um, bananas, and berries, you know, to make those perfect smoothies or juice, right? Use dairy-free yogurt, you know, or soy milk for extra flavor and nutrition. Uh, leafy green vegetables are the most healthy food, and green smoothies are a great way of adding them to your diet. It's also one way for you to get your fibers in. Tip number eleven. Have early dinner, all right? Having early dinner has several health benefits. It is advised to eat at least two hours before bedtime, right? This allows you to sleep better at night and wake up fresh the next day. It helps to balance your appetite and build healthy dietary habits. When you have dinner well before bedtime, it allows your body to utilize the food efficiently and it gives time to detoxify. Also, it helps to avoid uh, weight gain and results in a night of restful sleep. Now, the thought of early dinner has many health benefits. It might not seem practical for busy professionals. Even if you avoid having carbohydrates out the sunset, it can be beneficial. Instead of carbs, eat seasonal fruits or vegetables. I mean, you do still get some form of carbohydrates from there, you know. Um, but yeah, it's one option as well. If you don't want starchy carbohydrates, you can always have some fruits, but make sure to add in protein with it as well. And my last tip, choose healthy when eating out. I know we're all busy professionals. We may not have time to, um, to cook at home, but I also know that eating out and socializing is an important part of professional life. Office parties, lunch, dinner or after hours, uh, you all just want to get up with clients and you know, a great way to get it and feel refreshed. But overeating or having a lot of alcohol can put a load on your digestive system. It is good to be a bit choosy when you dine out with colleagues right, or your clients. When you are eating out, try to apply portion control. I understand, you know, certain places, they may not have the portion that you want, but try your best. Why? This will help you to control your calorie intake and eat the right quantity of food. You don't want to overeat your food, right? Split your meals with a friend if it's too much. Why? This is to avoid overeating at the restaurant or a cafe, right? Making healthy choices does not mean you need to sacrifice your flavor, right? I mean, you could always replace your fried food with a grilled one. Choose a salad over fries, you know? Add some side dishes to balance out your healthy meal. but. Choose wisely and being able to eat well to stay healthy and active is important. Now, the bottom line. With increasing age, the term you are what you eat holds true in several ways. Healthy eating for busy professionals is, is important because it helps you with the right fuel to keep yourself productive and ahead of others in your work. The tip that I've mentioned earlier, the 12 tips for healthy eating, may look simple or it may you know, sound a little bit tedious for some of you, but many of us fail to prioritize these 12 simple tips well. So 
you want to start incorporating these small changes in your life. I'm not asking you to follow all 12 of it. Maybe out of the 12, pick one or two that you can control, that you can make a change right away. Once you can incorporate all these small changes, you will be amazed by how quickly they will become part of your habit. And it can also bring several positive effects. When you take care of your body and mind, you will find yourself more productive and energetic throughout the day. This will help you to keep yourself healthy, which means reduce illness, and fewer visits to the doctor. Thank you for watching guys. This is just 12 simple tips to help you to start eating healthy again, okay? You may focus on your work, your career, your side hustle, but never forget to take care of yourself as well, okay? Because you are an important business. Your health is an important business as well. So with that said, we'll see you on the next video. Take care.